a comic review. It is a purely about the finished work and any of the actions, opinions, family pets, <laughs> weird interests, terrible cooking skills, or otherwise are not taken into account. This is just about the finished work, guys. We don't need to hear about all of their weird internet hit search history. Hey guys, StarCraft here, and today this is going to be a start of a long project I'm going to do for this month. A bunch of story spotlight on one of my favorite horror comics. Well, horror subjective, but definitely favorite horror scene. And that would be the Marvel Zombie. But, for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to go in um, release order, not chronological order. And while I have the Dead Days hardcover... I'm just going to be going over the three issues of Ultimate Fantastic Four for this inaugural video. Then I will go again. I will eventually do Marvel Zombies 1, then the um, Ultimate Fantastic Four follow-up, followed by Dead Days and Army of Darkness, then the Fantastic Four crossover, and then Marvel Zombies 2. Then I will go, and then from there on I will go continuing forward until I eventually get to Marvel's, the Marvel Zombie Secret Wars tie-in. And maybe if I stretch this out long enough, I'll probably get along then to Mar the new upcoming Marvel Zombies book that's going to be released. But yeah, let's get started with well, Fanta uh, Ultimate Fantastic Four number 21. Now to be fair, this artwork's by Greg Land, who I'm not a fan of at all. Uh... Yeah, basically, it opens up with, um, uh, oh, hold on one second. Sorry about that, got a message, but, yeah, it opens up with them dealing with dinosaurs. Who cares, that's not what we're here for about, because this is just the stuff we're dealing with a bunch of regular plot points. But eventually, after Susan's flirting with Reed, and he just brushes her off, yeah, she storms out. And we find out Reed is, we think, talking with his 616 counterpart. And basically he explains that, like, I speak from experience. And he introduces Franklin, basically explains everything to him about, you know, let's try and work together, try and help each other out, and help him make a interdimensional portal. But once Reed gets to the other side to meet the other Reed, he realizes things are a disaster. As he goes on through until he finds New York in, in ruin. Then he runs into the zombie Fantastic Four. Oh, by the way, that's the variant cover. But I gotta say, it was a nice twist back then. Because they were just hyping everything. Reed's gonna meet Reed. Is the 616 universe gonna meet the ultimate universe? Who knows? And then what we got then was a complete bait and switch. And it was brilliant. But, uh, yeah, basically, we ex they explain how what happened was, years ago, someone crashed. Now, the joke was supposed to be, oh, it was Superman, but really that looks more like the Sentry. And, yeah, he attacked everyone, caused all the, vi the zombies to spread more and more, the virus. And it's basically known as the, go the hunger gospel. Because, unlike other viruses, those who get infected by this, they can think. They can still have some access to their abilities, like Reek and Stretch and all that. And they can, they just are feeling this urge of a hunger. They're still zombies, they're still un undead. But, yeah, it is just really, really weird. But yeah, basically the whole point of it all is they've run out of food, as far as they know anyway. And thus they want to get, uh, they want Reed, you know, and things to the portal to be able to use it. Basically, they all give chase, and Reed was able to hide in a pretty clever way, basically flattening himself on the top of the, um, of the pipe. But when he gets back up, all the different Marvel heroes are starting to come after him. But, um, but then, well, Hulk is hungry as there is, and he comes charging in, wailing into everyone, and wanting to go for a Hulk, when all, and went for Reed. When all of a sudden, all the metal across the city starts pulling in on everyone, crashing, K 
kick out so many people and in revealing that there was Magneto of this universe. A Magneto that's a lot more civil and human than the ultimate uh, Magneto. <coughs> but yeah, he leads them to a group of survivors. They make it seem like they're the only survivors. They're not. But basically they explain everything and at the same time... Um, the, fr the Frightful Four show up in the Ultimate Universe ready to attack the remaining of the four. And yeah, they're first caught off guard, but they're able to fight each other off pretty well, actually. They're able to deal with them. And yeah, basically they seal everyone off and they deal with it all. But at the same time, we have, um, again, Reed is still trying to move around, figure out what to do. So he just stretches a limb out to find out. And, well, eventually, though, they get spotted and make their way in and going for an attack. Yeah. Again, just the artwork on this, it's all right. But compared to what we'll get later, not the greatest from Greg Land. But eventually, they're about to be ganged up when the four show, the remaining four show up to help Reed. Then they decide, well, first, we and we have... Um, Ben going after the whole thing. I always want, I wondered if I could take this freak. And he decks him hard, sending him flying. Then they uh, make their way back to the where the portal is. But and it apparently came along with them when they came, when they teleported. But then Magneto says, "I'm gonna stay behind and destroy it. I'm not trying to be brave or anything. It's just it's the only way this could be done, so they can't follow you. So." He gives them a wave goodbye and then explodes everything. They're then left behind and, well, we get a little bit of a cliffhanger of, with one of his trademark porn faces, of Sue just going, realizing their mother is there. It's their, her mother. And that was the, first, the start of this little mini. This is going to be one of the shorter ones because it's only three issues, but it was a good setup. Nice twist with the, um, the zombie universe. How it explains everything. The little dig that, oh, it was, uh, it was the DC universe that infected us. Yada, yada, yada. And it was what, an interesting, just a good starting point. Robert Kirkman is going to take over and when I do the mini tomorrow. And you could definitely tell that he had a lot more uh, thought put into everything. And yeah, he did. He just took the ball and ran with it. And, but this, again, for a starting point, it was good. Not great, though. And then you also have Greg Land's artwork. Just, they didn't feel like, and they felt like zombies to a degree, but they felt like poorly makeup uh, zombies for the most part. You know, they're like, yeah, yeah, it was just all that. You could definitely tell he was tracing the artwork from zombie movies of people just reaching out because that's, all they really did was just a bunch of, uh, or, uh, yeah, just like, like uh, but nothing that really felt like zombies except for the teeth and everything, and a little bit of blood around the mouth. But, yeah, I don't know. It just felt so, artwork just, I've never been a fan of his work, I'll be honest. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Like I said, tomorrow is going to be Marvel Zombies proper. So, see you guys there.